Welcome to Federal Fridays, Volume 16. Let's get it in. Hey guys, this weekend is going to be really dope. I'm playing the Electronic Fantasy Festival with Gammer and Rabbit in the Moon. Um, we've had an amazing month. Uh, I signed Drop That Ass with Uprise Music, and they've gotten it all over the web, on all the blogs, and it's officially on Beatport and iTunes, so you can go buy it if you want to support. Some amazing collaborations are happening. So yeah, right now we're just at Starbucks. I'm about to head to the tattoo shop, and we're getting a lot of my other ink finished because uh, we're going to have a couple shoots coming up with Joe Worrell, uh, some photo shoots. I'm away at the tattoo shop right now. Put the windows up. Take exit 137B to merge onto CA 110 South toward Los Angeles, then keep right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Federal Fridays. I'm here at Hearts on Fire with Julius. I'm about to get some ink. It's gonna be super sick, and uh, we're gonna interview him real quick. All right, so Julius, yo, tell us about yourself. How long you been tattooing? Like, where's your inspiration come from? My inspiration comes from anybody that works hard. They don't have to be good, they just have to work hard. Just keep me on my toes, because so I don't want to get left behind. That's what motivates me to get better. What was your, what was your first tattoo? My first tattoo. I did it myself when I was in the fourth grade, so I don't know how old I was or anything, but I just, uh, I tattooed mom on myself, on my arm right here, then it was removed, and uh, eventually covered up. I still wish I had it, though. <laughs> well, Julius, tell us about, like, your, your drawing sessions, because I think that's really unique as a tattoo artist. You, like, take the time to, like, hone in on your craft and push yourself, you know what I mean? Well, I draw for tattooing, and I also love it. But the main reason why I draw is that so that I don't get left behind. You know, right. I want to be, I want to stay above water. So you want to just be like any other dude that's around here or anywhere else. I want to give you the best of me every time around. That's dope. And uh, so at uh, Hearts on Fire, how, how have you guys progressed here? What's like, uh, what do you guys find like the culture is like here? Fucking crazy. It's insane, right? Fuck yeah. It's just like, different thing every day? It's just wild, man. Fucking going fedo every day. <laughs> so yeah, these guys at the tattoo shop are really talented. I will give you all their Instagrams in the caption above. Go follow them. If you want some ink, hit them up. So yeah, we went to the Yost Theater in Orange County. Branch has played along with a lot of other awesome DJs. It was really, really fun. I, was, I got backstage and comped. Shout out to Philip for hooking it up from the Viv group. And the White Rabbit group, you guys are really supporting the movement right now. This was a blast. I didn't DJ, but I was definitely there to support everyone that was performing. And uh, it was uh, it was just a wild experience, man. It was the lighting, the sound, blown away. It was sick. All I ask is you guys support. Go on Instagram, Facebook, like the posts, all that good stuff. Until then, thanks for watching. Turn up. <laughs>